Ajlin. Um, today I'm going to do a talk about a huge topic. It's called, you know, depression, basically. It's a very huge topic, and there's so many things associated with it, and I wanted to talk about it because it's important. So I'm probably going to do a three video series. The first one is going to be talking about depression, its causes, the importance of knowing about it, uh, how serious it is, because it is serious. And then in the second video, I'm actually going to talk about ways to alleviate depression, treatments of depression, you know, forms of making your depression better in any way, sense, or form. And in the third video, I'm going to do a Q&A on people's issues, personal issues, and I'm going to give advice on how to deal with it. So, if you want any advice, go ahead and send me an email or message. I don't care. So, okay. The first one right now, depression. Now, we've all heard of depression. It's a very common term these days in our society. And basically... Depression is known as depression, major depression, clinical depression, and depressive disorder. And basically what it is, it's a medical illness that causes a constant state of sadness and lack of interest. It's where you just, you don't want to do the things you like anymore. You don't have the motivation to enjoy the things you used to. You don't want to clean up. It makes it difficult to clean your house even. Like you can be so depressed. You don't want to talk to your friends, your family. You neglect people. You neglect chores. You neglect your self-health. And that's very bad. So, we're going to talk about causes. There are so many causes of depression, especially nowadays. And people don't realize this. It's, I'm going to name a few, well, more than a few, but there's a lot more than my list. And I have, actually, a little notepad, so I won't forget anything I wanted to say, okay? So, some of the causes would be trauma, grief, medication, including birth control, ladies, remember that, hormone imbalance, thyroid problems, same thing, almost, almost but not quite. Smoking and drug usage, poor sleeping habits, struggles with communication with other people, relationships, families, um, your living environment, believe it or not, um, the city or town you live in could be a big reason or cause, uh, family, friends that are toxic or negative, low self-esteem, there's like abuse, emotional abuse, physical abuse, of any kind of abuse, to be honest. And financial crisis and overstress. Those are a few. Those are not all of them, but they're a few. Also, I don't think people realize how, how serious depression can be. Some people are really negative when they hear the term depression. They're like, oh, you're too emotional, you're too, you're oversensitive, or you just can't deal with reality. That is not the case, okay? Um, depression definitely gets worse when we are trying to process so much stimuli our brain is trying to process that it gets so overworked processing all this information that it doesn't quite it's like an overload it's an overload on our senses on our emotions on our mental health it's so much and then we have people who are very supportive like hey I'll talk to you if you need help um, if you need anything, let me know. People who try to help people, which is very good. That's called support. Support is amazing. Always need support. 
And the thing about depression is it can get worse. You know, first it goes to um, lack of motivation, not wanting to do stuff, not wanting to take care of yourself, not wanting to even take care of children or family members. It can get that bad. It can get worse than that. It can start self-harm, which can be very serious. You can start hurting other people instead of yourself. Sorry, my hair is just all over the place today. There we go. All right, sorry about that. Um, it can even go as far as suicide or taking your own life, which I'm highly against. So, if you have depression, don't feel ashamed. It's not something to be ashamed about or guilty about. It happens to a lot of people. In America, there are 365 million people, okay? And statistically, 14.8 million people over the age of 18 suffer from depression. It's a lot of people. That's around 8%. And that's only the people above 18. It is possible for children to be depressed, teenagers to be depressed because of hormones, learning how, you know, reality, learning from who they're becoming. That's a whole nother video. Um, a lot of people can get so stressed out, it can cause depression. They, as I said, it's an overstimuli, like it's an overprocess of stimuli for your brain. It's just too much. And it's not, as I said, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Don't, you can be angry, you can be upset. That is normal. So don't feel bad about it. And in our next video, I will actually talk about how to make it better. Make it better, make it go away. All the types of ways you can alleviate depression. Okay? So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.